In today's video, we will talk about a concept in security, which is a later or latest concept in security that's pushing out a lot of vendors to develop a solution called micro segmentation. What that really means is that traditionally, the networks used firewalls. So in this picture, I am essentially showing you a bare metal server, you know, and it's running a hypervisor. And on that hypervisor, you got virtual machines and app one and app two and app three. And your firewall is also a virtual machine or it could be a physical box in the physical network, right? Connecting to the server. What happens is that when your packet comes in and it's once it makes it through the firewall and accesses the application, your firewalls are very much static in their policies. What that means is that once you have written a rule 10 years ago, that rule, unless it's closed by somebody and it's not used, it stays open. You know, the projects comes and goes, the firewall rules, you know, they open up by the firewall team or engineer. But if they forget, so the human error part, if they forget to close that firewall rule, it could be exploited. And once that app is accessed and exploited or compromised, your app, the security between the apps after the firewall hop. And in this case, it's this segment, you know, typically the firewall works on one subnet. So in this picture, it's working in 10.1.1.0 subnet. So anything that comes in and gets compromised after this firewall can get affected and is vulnerable. Micro segmentation is a concept where you have this controller or a piece of software. It could be a physical appliance. It could be a virtual machine running on a hypervisor that controls your applications, all of the applications or set of applications and ensures that the flows and the security is controlled within the application. It could be done at the application or host level, VM level, or it can also be done at the firewall level. So there are solutions out there that would not only control your virtual machines on the OS firewalls level, but it they would also work at the firewall level. So it's, it's a dynamic way to control your rules based on user authentication. So micro segmentation really means that I am securing my flow between the apps that sit in one subnet. And that could be done in various ways. You can put firewalls again and again and make them work in a bridged mode, which is really for just three apps here in sitting in one subnet, you can imagine how many firewalls you would have to put in. There's a northbound firewall that's taking the traffic from the north side. And then there is a east-west firewall just for 10.1.1 subnet. You're going to have to install one firewall here, one firewall here. And if you have more virtual machines or apps, each app would have to have a firewall sitting in the middle of each other just to ensure the traffic is secured between them. And that is obviously a nightmare. So micro segmentation controllers are concept and architecture which ensures that it controls and configures your operating system host firewalls. And it is dynamically done through one controller. So one controller controls all your apps. It will show all your flows. It will control the host-based firewalls. 
and enforce the policies and write new policies and whatever you do. Well, that's essentially what micro-segmentation means. And a lot of hypervisors do implement at the hypervisor level. For example, the uh, solution from uh, VMware NXX, NSX does implement this at the, at the hypervisor level. So NSX is a very, very powerful solution because it works at the hypervisor level. It's a proprietary solution. It's not open source. Um, you open, so from an open source perspective, you can bake or customize solutions. There are solutions like OVS that would sit and connect. So if this is your subnet, your OVS, which is a o open virtual switch that works in KBM, and, and I think NSX also uses it, you can do micro segmentation based on your MAC addresses and, and firewalls, but not through not through host firewalls. It's like each virtual machine that connects to OBS can be controlled through MAC address flows. But micro segmentation essentially focuses on one given subnet, which does not or should not include multiple firewalls just to go east-west traffic. So if your traffic is heavy on east-west side on one given subnet, you it's not practical for 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 productions or dev, DevOps to you know have firewalls and east-west traffic flow. This is east-west and this is north-south. North-south is this way and write this correctly. So <clears throat> east-west micro-segmentation really you know, focuses on east-west traffic. That's, that's the bottom line. And uh, the only way to solve this problem is to have a central plane, management plane, that can enforce policies on, on the east-west traffic flows. Otherwise, like I said, I think, I think if, you, if, you, if you were to make a, a complex diagram of all these applications, if it's a slash 24 subnet, you can potentially have 254 applications or you know, virtual machines or physical machines on slash 24. And if you want to secure each one of them you know, from each one of them, and the only traditional way of doing that is really, you know, firewalls and that is like I said you know if you look at this picture it's not practical micro segmentation solutions out there either through VMware or a lot of other companies that are out there Limio and AppGate they, they're very very powerful solutions and they will help you secure your east and west traffic in the data center or even in uh, the campus. East and West is mostly in the data center. So that would uh, you know, help you design and resolve a lot of architectural and design issues when you work and implement a micro-segmentation solution.